Kathy Washira here on how to date successfully into marriage. And kindly before I begin, I just want to make it very, very clear. Please don't be under any pressure to date or to get into any relationship. And especially if you're not ready for marriage. Dating is for marriage. If you use it, if you get into dating for any other reason, then you're going to get yourself into trouble. Uh, the, the, the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 7, though this had nothing uh, to do, it was talking about something else, but it, we can get wisdom from it. It says, daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you by the gazelles and by the doors of the field. Do not arouse or awaken love before it so desires. In other words, don't get yourself into things that are going to bring up emotions, are going to bring up things inside you that may make you get in trouble. So if you're not ready for marriage, then you're not ready for dating. It is okay to be single. Don't let society and pressure and what everyone else is doing make you to get into something that you're not ready for. Don't be under any pressure. It is okay to be single. It is okay not to date. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, so how to date successfully into marriage. Number one, be very clear after the initial dates. Be very clear. And when I say initial, I'm talking about the first or second date. No, there is the first date uh, where someone is just getting to know you because you can't assume just because someone has told you, let's go for a date, it's because they want to date you. Sometimes they want to ask you to help them with their classwork. So don't assume, okay? So after the initial dates of getting to know you, getting to know your parents, where you come from, your village elder and all those things, and they ask for the second or even the third date, be very clear or get clarity from the person. Get to know. Ask them, why do you want to continue dating me? There is nothing wrong with that. You're not asking the person to marry you, but you need to get clear reason why he wants to continue dating or why he's asking you for another date. That is not, there's nothing wrong with that. And I hope that the person will ask you, will tell you it is because of marriage, because there is no use of continuing to date someone if their vision is not marriage. They are wasting your time and you're also wasting your own time. Remember, as a lady, marriage is a choice. A man chooses to marry a lady. They don't choose the lady because the lady is the most beautiful or the lady is the most perfect. It is a choice they made. It make. It's not a feeling. So let them, after they've met you or the initial dates, let them choose and say, I admit I am continuing to date you because this is what I want or what I expect out of this. Okay? So don't allow the demonic statement. There is a demonic statement which has put many women in trouble. Let us keep this thing open and see where it goes. That is a trap and a time waster. You, why should you keep it open? Why should you see where it goes? Someone must decide if they want to. If they like you, they are continuing to meet you because they like you. So they should not waste your time. There's nothing you're keeping open and there's nothing you're going to wait and see. To go where? For how long? You are one human being. How many people will you keep open with it that will keep also keep going to see where it goes? That is something that has no vision and it is going to end up going anywhere. And that is why we get in trouble. So don't allow that statement. If he's not serious, if he has no vision for this relationship, then uh, he needs to continue and let him pass. Okay, you are not asking to marry because it's up to the man to, to ask. But you want to know that if you're going to continue with this thing, there's somewhere you want to go with it. There's somewhere you're going with it. So be very clear. There's nothing wrong with that. Let us not be people who are just, uh, we, we think there's something wrong with ask, asking questions. Sorry. Ask those hard questions from the beginning. Number two, do not go for another date if you have no peace of clarity. Peace or clarity. What does that mean? What he says and what you see aligns is in agreement. Mm -hmm. what you see and what he's saying aligns it is in agreement otherwise it is going to be a waste of time a waste of money a waste of effort and a waste of emotions because people don't change what you see and what you hear from the beginning that is what you're going to get so there is no use of wasting time if you have no peace and you have no clarity let it pass okay and that's why i'm saying success, successful dating 
Successful dating does not mean the first one that you get into, you get married. No, but it is going to help you to get rid of waste time wasters and time wasting dates. You know, so that you get to the right person. Number three, sex should never be part of this dating package. When you are clear from the first dates that sex is not part of this, oh my God, you will save yourself a lot of time and a lot of trouble, okay? Saying no to sex before marriage, number one, it is going to eliminate all jokers, all time wasters and users. Because if you tell him and you let him know clearly, I am who I am and these are my principles and I am not going to change them. Trust me, if they were just there because they wanted to use you, they will not call you for another date. It will save you a lot of emotions, a lot of time, and a lot of money, and a lot of effort that you use to put makeup when you're going to meet this person. So no no sex before marriage. will. It, it, the, the advantage of this, it will quicken the, the engagement. When the person loves you, when the person has decided that you're the one that he has chosen amongst many others, when you say no sex, it is going to quicken engagement that's a tip from me mm. because if you really love someone you want to be with them so you're going to work very hard to be with them okay so those three things if you do those three things you're going to be very successful in this dating uh, uh, place you know one be very clear or get clarity from day one of what this dating is uh, what is the purpose of this dating number two do not go for another date if you don't have peace or clarity. What he says and what he does and what you're seeing must be in agreement. Number three, sex should never be part of the dating package. If you do those three things, you will succeed very quickly. You will remove a lot of time wasters from your, from, from your space and uh, you will get to the right person very, very quickly. God bless you and give you wisdom.